What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video today. We got ourselves the OG Legendary Mewtwo alongside with Psychic Surgeon DD to absolutely dominate Series 8. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking Epic Red Subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Your guys' support has been crazy on this channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Mosiah. Mosiah. Mosiah, bleh. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for dropping this team. It is seriously is looking amazing. I cannot wait to explain it and get after it on the casual ladder. Considering by the time I record this, it is January 31st, which means the rank battles is not out yet because it comes out February 1st. But like I said in the last video, I want to get you guys some teams to roll out in Series 8-4. So now we got the Zygarde team and we got this team so you guys can use it and potentially push Master Ball tier with both these teams. But rocking out in the front spot, we got ourselves Mewtwo. The heart and soul of this team, Life Orb and Unnerve ability. We got Expanded force first stab and it's going to be able to dominate with a psychic surge we also got fire blast ice beam and hurricane all for coverage moves right next to him we got indeed the pokemon that pairs really really well with them with the psychic surge and psychic seeds uh item so we'll get the special defense boost as we uh play him we got follow me helping hand expanding force and protect so if i can lead both these guys i can go into a helping hand get the helping hand boost onto the mewtwo get the stab boost for the expanding force get the life orb boost as well as the psychic surge boost so that is going to be huge damage and i think it's going to be broken just to be able to roll out and dominate the on my face cam is another op pokemon we got moltres this pokemon has been dominating the meta recently with berserk and weakness policy fiery wrath hurricane air slash and nasty plot to set up right next to him we got urshfu focus ash and unseen fist so it can hit through protects with wicked blow close combat iron head and thunder punch and i'm loving this move set considering it changed for series 8 this team is built around series 8 i will explain it in a little bit to why that move set rolls out well in series 8 Bottom left corner is going to be Rotom. Rotom Wash to be exact with Levitate and Citrus Berry, Thunder, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, and Will-O-Wisp. Rotom and Urshfu are going to be great in Series 8 considering their moveset. Rotom can cover the Kyogres and the Groudons. That is amazing. Same thing with the Urshfu over here. Urshfu can cover that Kyogre with that Thunder Punch uh, coverage move. So if I see this guy's going to go Kyogre, I do not want no Water Spouts coming out here. I'm going to lead Rotom and Urshfu and just double into that thing and get after it. Final spot is going to be Azumarill with huge power and that Assault Vest with Liquidation, Play Rough, Bounce, and Steel Roller. It is Water and Fairy type, so that is huge for Series 8 considering a lot of the new Pokemon are Dragon type. And then we also have Steel Roller for Exerneus, the Legendary from Pokemon X. We can potentially go into a Dynamax and just Max Steel Spike and take it out right then and there so we don't have to worry about it. But yeah, this team's synergy for Series 8 is amazing. Again, shout out to my boy Messiah for making this. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop onto the Frank Double ladder with his Mewtwo team for series eight. Before we get started with our first battle, I want to go over a question of the day for today's video. Okay, so the question is, what legendaries would you guys like to see me play first? Because there are tons of them, there are tons of cool ones, and I really want to know what Pokemon you guys would like to see first. I got uh, Yavelta teams on the way, Sungola teams, Rayquaza, Exernius, Kyogre, Groudon. I got a bunch of them, so seriously, let me know in the comment section down below who you guys would like to see first. And also, let me know in the comment section down below, because after I got done recording that little intro, I didn't know if it was too long, too short or if it was too much, let me know in the comment section down below if, if I should change it up, maybe make it a little bit shorter and just get right into the battles. But rocking out in this first battle, we're going up against a Groudon team. Groudon has Drought for that Venusaur Chlorophyll. I think we lead the Mewtwo. I think we get after it with the Mewtwo and we go in DD as well. I'm going to bring Rotom just for that fact that he has the Groudon and he has the... That covers actually a lot of that. A lot of that team. The Incineroar, the Tapu Fini, all that good stuff. And then final spot, I think I'm going to roll into Urshfu. Just have Urshfu in that back end. I really do like having that Urshfu. Let's roll it. I see that we have two seconds. I I get some comments. It's just, it's just like, jeans. You, you make my nerves go crazy with, like, the timer. But, yo, usually I'm looking at the time pretty well. I used to, like, back in the day, I used to, like, not pay attention to the time. And I used to just, like, the teams would just pick for me. I'm like, bro, yo, I got to, like, really fix that. But now I'm pretty good at time management and rolling out pretty well with it. But hopefully we can catch a, a big old victory in first battle. He's going to go, okay, Thunderous and Venusaur. Thunders and Venusaur, and in that case, I can just drop an expanded force. He might swap into the... Uh, is he going to swap into the the Groudon? I can totally see it. No one's allowed to eat berries anymore. Psychic Surge is popping, which I really, really like. And I, Mewtwo's very fast. He's like 180-something. He's going to outspeed that Venusaur unless it's Chlorophyll. And in that case, do I go for a Follow Me and still drop an expanded force, or do I go for a Helping Hand? Hmm. I am going to go for this uh, expanded force right here, and I am going to Follow Me. I am going to follow me. As much as I want a helping hand, 
I, I think a follow me is going to be the play because he might swap into that uh that ground onslaught and get the outspeed. So he can't fake me out either. That's what's so great about the Psychic Surge as well and this team. He, he's going to withdraw the Venusaur. That's totally fine by me. And he's going to go into this Pokemon, whatever this is. The Incineroar. Okay, so Incineroar is going to come out here. He cannot fake me out. The Intimidate doesn't do anything. Wait, does it do anything? No, we're special attacking. We're all special attacking, me, which is wonderful. And he cannot fake me out. Follow me, he's going to come out here. And Thunders might set up a Tailwind, which I really don't like. I should have potentially went into the Helping Hand. Need to use Expanding Force. Doesn't affect uh, Incineroar, but it is going to go after the Thunders, which is huge. Bill doing some big damage, and it just dumps on him. Tells it to go home. Get him out of here. Get this dude gone. Get him out of here, yo. Dude, Mewtwo's rocking out here. Does some big damage. And we have Rotom in the back. So I'm thinking the Pokemon that he has is going to be Incineroar, Groudon, and Venusaur, right? Yep. Here comes Groudon. Heat's coming out here. She's probably going to die next year. The Drought. The lovely little Drought. But I also have Urshifu here. So I just saved my Dynamax for, uh, I believe, I just save it for, uh, for what's it called? For Rotom. Then just, uh, just change up the weather? Okay, with it, we have the Citrus Berry as well. We're going to roll into this. We're just going to follow me and waste our turns. He might Dynamax this Groudon. Let's see what he does. He's going to Dynamax Groudon. So big old Groudon we're seeing in battle number one. Yo, dude, I'm so hyped for Series 8. I'm so hyped for Series 8. Mewtwo just uh, dumped on that Pokemon. He should be able to do a decent amount of damage to, over on this, to this Groudon slot. And thank God Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre are not allowed. <laughs> they were so OP in Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. It was absurd. Cinnamon's going to go for a fake out. Ooh, ooh, Psychic Terrain coming in clutch. You can't do that. Bombie's coming over here. You can't do that. That's why, that's exactly why I went into the Psychic Surge, so you can't use your fake outs and stuff. I know it's not affecting the Incineroar, but I just want to get some damage off on this Groudon. Jeez, that's some huge damage. That is some huge damage. And if I eat up this Mac, oh no, he's special defense. Boost it. Are you Orb? Are you Orb, my guy? Okay, so now he's going to get special defense boost, which I do not like. I was going to say we could take him out in a special, or in one more expanding force. I could help him hand here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, because I know Mewtwo outspeeds. But I'm going to help him hand here. Try to do as much damage as I can to the Groudon. The chances are he's going to go after. Oh, there we go. Just cancels the battle, yo. Mewtwo is OP right now. <laughs> Made my guy cancel out the first battle. That's how we get started with this Mewtwo team. But we're going up against another Groudon team. And I feel like Groudon is going to be a huge part of this meta. Ever since I hopped onto the casual ladder with uh, the Mewtwo team and the Zygarde team, I've been seeing a lot of Groudon. I really just have been. But I think uh, Mewtwo and indeed he just rolls out strong here as well. He has the Venusaur as well, so we can dominate it with that. I'm going to bring Rotom over here. And then in the final spot, I really want to bring Urshifu again. I kind of want to bring same squad. It, it looks pretty decent here. Considering we got that Thunder Punch, which Thunder Punch covers the uh, Tapu Fini and the uh, Moltres. And then we got that uh, close combat that obviously is just a big damaging move. I kind of like this. I kind of do like this. And then the Rotom covers the Moltres as well as the Tapu Fini. It's really good. And he covers the ground. Like, he's just, he's just really good. And the, and the, what's it called? And then Cinnamore. Where do I bring Azumarill? As he has a few special attackers here. He could proc weakness policy and roll from there. Hmm. Hmm. What does Jeans want to go for here? I don't just want to bring Urshifu in the final spot. I I've been liking this. I've I'm, li I'm liking these four. I am liking these four. I could bring my own Moltres. If I really wanted to. But again, I'm really liking the four here. The four here just roll out so well up against a lot of these Pokemon, especially a Groudon team. We're going to get puzzled with that. And I always love how, like, whenever I have Urshifu on my team, I just, I just feel like he has to come in. He's so good all around, especially as a back-end Pokemon. He's holding that Sash. He can usually clutch up a battle for you. And he does a lot of big damage. And with this move set, it's huge because he has two coverage moves as well, which is really, really nice. But who are you going to lead, kind sir? Groudon and Confi. Are you, uh, what are you going to do with that? That's my question. We're just going to expanding force this one. Um, I should be faster than the Groudon. Drought is coming out here. So I'm just going to help him hand here. I am just going to help him hand here. And drop an expanding force. He might Dynamax. He might. But if, say, he does Dynamax. Say he does Dynamax. And take out my Mewtwo. My Mewtwo should be able to outspeed it and at least get off one shot with it. So I, I feel like that's a win in my book. I'm going to go helping hand here and roll off from there. He could ally switch, but ally switch isn't going to do anything. I actually hope he ally switches and wastes his turn with that. That'd be lovely. 
that would be lovely. But pretty much, this is what you guys need to do with this team. I feel like you guys can get Master Balls here just by leading the Mewtwo and the Indeedee and rolling out. Because Mewtwo's speed is absurd. It really is absurd. He's going to Dynamax Groudon. So, back-to-back -back matches, we're seeing Dynamax Groudons. We didn't even use our Dynamax last match. We kind of just uh, sent Mewtwo out with Expanding Force. But Groudon, yo. Groudon's so cool looking. I love the three legendaries or the three main legendaries from uh, Gen 3. Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. Bro, let's go. That goes to my question of the day, where it was, uh, what legendaries do you guys want to see first? For me to actually answer that question, I want to show off Exernius, or Exernius, Rayquaza, and I don't even know the third one. I don't even know the third one, but yo, geez, that is some damage. That is some damage right there. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't decide on a third legendary. Max Quake, there's too many. Here comes a Quake coming in here. And go after Ndidi, please. You're going to go after Mewtwo. Yeah, I didn't mind if he takes out, we don't take out my Mewtwo. He will take it out next turn. Does follow me or does follow me come out before the what's it called? The Confi's move or is Confi doubling up into me? I'm gonna drop a trick room. Okay, so never mind. I could go for a follow me. Which I'm gonna have to. I am gonna go for a follow me and try to get this double dumps going. Double dumping on him. Let's go. Follow me here. I don't know if uh, Confi's triage comes out before the follow me. Actually, follow me might come out here first because it's slower than the trick room. So, first turn priority should cancel. And then you should go first? Because usually that's what happens with the triage ability. First turn priorities cancel out and Confi's faster than them. So this could be really, really nice. He sets up the trick room like that. I still have my Dynamax. If I can pick up the double KO here and keep these two Pokemon and take out his Dynamax, that will be huge. Floral Healing is going to come through. I feel like we still pick up the KO here. Do we? It's going to be close. We're kind of close here. Follow me is going to come out here though. And I don't see him. Oh no, he has a special defense boost. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Rock Falls can come out here. And that was smart. Going to the Rock Fall. That will take out my Mewtwo with the Buffets. But indeed, he will get off another Follow Me. And I can just go into. What's it called? I can just go into Rotom. Hoppy's going to go down. I can go into Rotom Dynamax and get a Follow Me, turn off, and change up the weather. Nope. Nice damage there. And that special defense boost is helping him out. But still, yo, Mewtwo's rocking out here. Life Orb would have took me out anyway. I totally forgot about the Life Orb. And Mewtwo does work. He does work there. Buffets are coming out here. Uh, Groudon's not going to take anything. But Tom could come out here. What's the speeds? What are the speeds? 141 or 114 and 149. This is G-Max too. That's beautiful. That is lovely. But Rotom's definitely going to come out here. I wish I knew uh, Groudon speed. I do have Will-O-Wisp. He does have Rock Ball. Ground cannot hit me. Which is cool. But I got to come out here and change up the weather. That's a fact. He's going to send out whom? I'm gonna send out Tapu Fin. Okay, so Tapu Fin is gonna come out here. I'm not. That's that's fine with me. I got the Rotom and the Urshifu in the back end, so we can kind of cover that up. As long as we outspeed that. In the Trick Room, we won't. So we're kind of just waiting on this Trick Room. Kind of just waiting on this Trick Room. I definitely want to take out that Groudon, or it can guard. Actually, this is what I'm thinking of doing. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking he might, uh, I'm thinking he might protect this turn. He might guard this turn, so I'm just gonna go here. I'm just gonna go for a follow me here and take out the Tapu Fini if I can. I think that might be the play. He's gotta have the Venusaur in the back end, right? That's gotta be a thing. Venusaur's gotta be in the back end. All right, if you're bringing Drought, I'm thinking Venusaur's in the back end. Cause you got Tapu Fini. Who do we take out first? I totally forget it already. <laughs> Who do we dump on? Oh, we took out the Confi. We got the Confi. He might not have Venusaur. We'll see what's going on here. And he ends up not guarding. He ends up not guarding. That's fine by me. The Dynamax turns will be over this next one. We go for a Calm Mind. So good thing we are getting after this thing. I'm happy we are getting after this thing. Hopefully we can take it out. That thing is scary. Special attack and special defense boost. And you're going to go first. You're going to go right there. Follow me comes out. He's going to change up the weather. And we're not going for the guys here. We're not going for the guys here, which is really, really nice. He's going to change up the weather. That's fine. I think, Gra yeah, Groudon's out of turns now. And DD faints. We're going to be able to get out Urshifu. Go here, Max Lightning. Uh, he Can we KO this thing? No, dude, that special defense boost is so big. Okay. We're sitting here. Sitting here right now. We got the Sash. I think I have to close combat onto the... Uh, Urshifu. Hmm, I don't know. Do I protect? Do I protect? Do I protect on you? Do not. Hmm. 
probably gonna double up into me, which I don't like. I don't like. This one's gonna be close. This one's gonna be a real close battle. That's a good battle. I'm glad we're getting a good battle out here. I wish we had uh, what's it called the roll outlet. We do have a sash. So how do how do I play this one? I feel like you're posing a bigger threat right now. I really do. I'm really not worried about this uh, ground on too much. I think I just wicked blow into this. Yeah, I want it. We are sash here. I think he's gonna double up into me. That's that's my problem. I'm waiting for this trick room to end. I'm waiting for this trick room to end. This one's gonna be a close battle. We still have another turn left. And we do have the electric surge, which is nice here. Moon Blast gonna come through. Okay, cool. Yeah, go, go into Rotom. I like that. And Rock Slide's gonna come through. And as long as uh, Urshfu doesn't flinch, we should pretty much pick up this win. As long as Urshfu doesn't flinch, this, we should have this one in the bag. So, Max Lightning's gonna drop the Finny. Beautiful. Wicked Blow just needs to come through. And then it's a 2v1 with one more turn left in Dynamax, which I really like. And then, still a trick room, but again, 2v1, we should be sitting pretty good. <gasps> he flinched? What do you mean? What do you mean? Bruh, dude, he really flinched and... God, man! You kidding me? Kidding me? How many turns? Actually, he's slower. He is slower now. Do I really want to change up the weather? He is slower now, because how many turns left? There's one more turn left in trick room. So now I want to change I want to change up the weather for this turn. I'm going to go after you, and I'm definitely going to have to drop a Wicked Blow onto this slot. So, the Drought might be helping us out here a little bit. I'm going to go for a Rocket. If you get another flinch on my Urshifu, I'm going to freak out. I'm not going to be having it. There you go. Now we go for the Geyser. Get after it. You can go after my Rotom, kind sir. I'm going to be able to take out Groudon. I'm going to change his weather for us. So now Urshfu is faster than the Venusaur. The Trick Room's gonna end. Please do not take out my uh, my Urshfu. Venusaur, chill out, man. Go after uh, Rotom. Are you gonna go after Venusaur with an Energy Ball or Urshfu with an Energy Ball? Eat this up. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I do not like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. We outspeed. But I think we lose. <laughs> I think this Energy Ball just takes us to school. God, man. This game. My Urshfu really flinched there. Um, we gotta go for a Hydro Pump. It's our best bet, right? Or we can try to leave him paralyzed. What's gonna do more damage? This has a better chance of landing. Actually, no, this is 100%. I think we go for maybe the Paralyze. I think we maybe go for the Paralyze. <laughs> I think that's the play here. Get it. You outspeed me? No, dude, that's GG's. That's GG's. Oh my lord, dude! We had to waste my turn going after that dang Groudon. Yo, GG to this guy. That was a good battle. Solid second battle. We're one and one. We can hop into our third and final and look for that winning record. What is going on right now? The hype around Groudon is insane. This is our third battle for today's video. And this is our third battle going up against a Drought Groudon team. I feel like this is going to be huge in the meta. So make sure you guys build your teams around countering Groudon up. So we got the road time here. But at least this guy's team is actually uh, a little bit different. He has the Galarian Zapdos, the Gengar, and the Cherum, which is pretty dope. But we got that Rotom here. Rotom is going to be able to do work. He has that Venusaur, though. And that Venusaur got to us last game. I'm going to lead these two. I think these two can lead really well again. But instead of Urshfu, I feel like Urshfu doesn't come in this round. I don't want to bring in you. I don't want to bring in Azumarill. But at the same time, he has a Venusaur, so I kind of want to bring in Moltres. I think Moltres is going to be the call for that final spot. Azumarill is just kind of there to counter dragons and uh, fairy typing for this team, which, is, which is, works out pretty well. I really do like that. So if you guys see them rolling out with like brand new dragon legendaries, get that Azumarill out there. It has huge power. It has play rough. It can just dump them. It just, can just do huge damage and roll out from there. But yeah, dude, Series 8 is looking real good. It's looking real good. I, I, I've been thinking since the last battle, what is the third legendary I really want to see? Or like my three favorite legendaries. But I can't really decide. Like Kyogre, I, I love I love Kyogre. Kyogre's up there for me. So he's one of my favorite legendary. So I should actually do a Kyogre team next. But I really like Rayquaza and Exernius are like definitely top two in my opinion. But he might swap out into the drought. I think I just follow me in expanding force this one. I think that's totally fine here. Just so he doesn't get off like a Dynamax turn on the Venusaur. Or on my Mewtwo. And roll out from there. Because right now Mewtwo outspeeds. With the chlorophyll and the drought roll, and then uh, what's called well, outspeed the Venusaur. 
But if I can just get off an expanding force, it's uh, it's see you later for both these guys. <laughs> this guy is in a bad position. I would rather helping hand, but I think we're fine here. I think we're fine by just going into the follow me. Let's see what this guy does. Dude, this team, this team's gonna be good. This team's gonna be good. That last player we played was, he made some solid moves. He made some solid moves, but the flinch really did win him the game. Like, we had that one in the bag. We had it in the bag if, if uh, we didn't flinch. Like, I even said that. I even said that. I was like, yo, if we flinch, that's the only way we lose the game. If we don't flinch, we have this game in the bag. But he's gonna Dynamax, hopefully Venusaur here. Or is it gonna be Zapdos? Either or, I'm kinda wet. It's gonna be Venusaur. Alright, I follow me. I'm getting off a big expanding force. A big, big expanding force. And he doesn't swap. Which I absolutely love. Which I absolutely love that he doesn't swap. I really like that. I really like that. I, I cannot wait to see how Mewtwo does with this situation. He's gonna go for a U-turn. Oh, that's what he's doing. Are you crazy, man? You crazy, man. That's what he's doing. So yeah, he is gonna swap. That was smart. Okay, I like that little synergy right there. Now he's gonna bring out the Groudon. The Groudon, yeah. And Indeedy will go down here, which I do not mind. I do not mind Indeedy going down here, considering we're getting off this big expanded force. Which might be able to take out that Groudon. He's gonna do big damage on that Venusaur. I wonder how much he's gonna do. He's gonna get special defense boost, which is smart to go into. This is real smart. And we do eat, so I can get off another follow me, which I love, and Venusaur is the fastest on the team. So it's gonna take Venusaur shot. And now we're getting all big old expanded force. Let's get after it. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even with the special defense boost, it's doing big damage. Let's go into another follow me here, right? Yep, that's play. That is play. That is play, yeah. Follow me. It's going to take up Venusaur's turn. And I feel like we eat up whatever Groudon has to offer here. Follow me. Uh, and if we just eat up whatever Groudon has to offer, that's a, that's an easy double kill. Here's the Vine Lash. Uh, Groudon, what you got coming after me? What you got, boy? What you got? And trap the mines, that's totally fine. Like I said, I think Mewtwo should be able to eat up whatever Groudon has to offer. Everybody's buzzing with it. Oh, I just outspeed him. Double kill. Easy, yo, dude. Mewtwo slamming on Pokemon. Slamming on Pokemon, dude. I saw this team and I knew it was going to be ridiculous. I knew it was going to be so strong. But yeah, that's the tough part. Venusaur is really good with, when Mewtwo is out of the situation on this team. Mewtwo can just dump on it. Is that the special defense boost? I would have just went into like a helping hand and dumped it, dumped on that thing one turn. It would have been that easy. Because if I would just send the helping hand, that would have been GG's. I'm going to send out Moltres here. Because they have the drought. It's a Glaring Moltres, or Glaring Zapdos as well. And Cherim's going to come out here. Cherim! I might Dynamax Mewtwo. I might Dynamax Mewtwo here. Mewtwo is going to be fastest on the field. Oh, Charm's going with the Flower Gift. Actually, I'm not Dynamax Mewtwo. There's no point. I can just do this. <laughs> I'll Dynamax you and get off a of Max Airstream. Just huge. He should just quit this battle. This one's over with. This one is 100% over with. He's going to cancel the battle. He does not. I was going to say two cancel battles. Woo-wee. But, yo, we got that winning record. I, I, I can guarantee you guys we have the winning record. And that was for Jeans Online Gaming. I'm on it, baby. The Jeans Online Gaming. I'm on it for you guys all for you guys let's get it we got some awesome set of battles here which i really really did enjoy the first battle we just made people quit the second battle was a close one lost because of the flinch still that guy played a good game and the third battle coming out here and uh we got this win me too is dead though that's totally fine we still get this airstream boost like we're totally thriving here we're totally thriving this thing might be sash it might not be sash hopefully not it is not sash that's gg and then I just bring out Rotom. Rotom's super effective again. Actually, is he? Is he part flying? Yeah. He should still be part flying. He's flying and fighting. Yeah. It's GG's. Final Lash coming out here. Bam, bam, and then, and then, and Moltres comes out for the victory. I could have brought out Urshfu here. But I think Moltres had, uh, was a lot better considering if, say, Mewtwo goes down. Say, just say Mewtwo goes down. We have Moltres in the back to cover that Venusaur. Because Venusaur would have swept my team without that, uh, without what's it called? Or Venusaur would have swept my team without me too. So Brave Bird comes out, easy eats. GG baby, GG two and one. Dominating, dominating. I cannot wait to hop onto the rank ladder with these teams. I think Master Balls is going to be so easy push this this time around because there's so many OP teams. There are so many OP teams that are coming out. I feel like every team with a restricted mod has like an OP synergy. 
I don't know which team's better, the Zygarde team that we used in yesterday's video or this Mewtwo team in today's video. But either way, make sure you guys rent one of these teams and use them on the rank ladder for Series 8. I'm pretty sure you guys can push Master Ball tier pretty easy with these teams. They're pretty simple to play and they absolutely dominate. But one last shout out to my boy Mosai for dropping this team. I absolutely loved it. Everything about it was insane. The synergy's great and this team rocks out and gets easy wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live and don't forget to answer question of the day down in the comment section down below which is what legendaries do you guys want to see me play for series 8 seriously you guys rock out thank you so much for the support on the channel i'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you spread some positivity today peace out everybody